probability and the first topic is counting rules how to count the possible number of outcomes and the first counting rule is for multi step experiments multi step experiments what is multi step experiment when any experiment can be performed in k number of steps suppose number of steps that is k and n1 outcomes are possible in first step n2 outcomes are possible in the second step n3 outcomes are possible in the third step and so on in k outcomes are possible in the kth step then total number of possible outcomes is actually the multiplication of all possible outcomes in all steps that can be actually presented in the form of a tree suppose the easiest possible experiment to imagine is to get to toss two coins one by one imagine an experiment first a coin is tossed and then another coin is tossed what can happen or even you can imagine that two coins are tossed simultaneously one is on the right hand side another is on the left hand side what exactly can happen in case of tossing these coins say if first coin is tossed there are two possible outcomes head and tail any one of these is going to happen if the coin is actually tossed now after tossing the first coin another coin is tossed again in case of tossing another coin the same two outcomes are possible but what will be the situation of different types of possibility the first either head comes on the upper side of the first coin and then either head or tail on the second coin or otherwise tail comes on the upper side of the first coin and then head or tail comes on the upper side of the second coin so in the first trial there are two possible outcomes in the second trial also there are two possible outcomes so multiplication of two in the first trial and two in the second trial that means in this experiment total possible outcomes are four 1 2 3 and 4 this is the counting rule for multi step experiments the same can be actually there for tossing three coins suppose we have three coins and we are going to toss the three coins now in case of first coin what can happen the head or tail after tossing first coin now second trial means tossing the second coin what can happen okay head or tail head or tail like that now this case is nothing it is the extension of this old case of two coins now the third coin is tossed after tossing the second coin what can happen again head or tail head or tail head or tail head or tail head on the first coin and head on the second coin and head on the third coin or head on first head on second and tail on the third or 
head on first, tail on second, head on third. Head on first, tail on second, and tail on third. In that way, tail on first, head on second, and head on third, or tail on first, head on second, and tail on third, or tail on first, tail on second, head on third, or tail on first, tail on second, and tail on the third. How many possible outcomes are there? 2 plus 2, 4 plus 2, 6 plus 2, 8. Total number of possible outcomes comes to 8. How? 2 in the first trial, multiplied by 2 in the second trial, and multiplied by 2 in the third trial. Total is 2 into 2 into 2, that means 8. Yes, that can be expressed numerically. Total number of sides on a coin, 2, and 2 coins are tossed. So, 4 outcomes are there. Similarly, number of sides or number of outcomes on tossing a single coin, 2, number of coins, 3, that is 8. Yes, okay. Now the third, sorry, second rule is very popular, very well known. Combination. Combinations. In the case where say x number of successes or x number of selections are to be made out of a very large collection say n number of items the rule of combination says the selection of x out of n is possible in n c x ways there are n c x ways of selecting x number of items out of a collection of n number of items and what is the expansion or formula to calculate the value of n c x it is n this is sign of factorial factorial means multiplication from n to 1 n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into n minus 3 and so on at last into 2 into 1 from n to 1 multiplication of all possible values then n minus r factorial into r factorial this is the rule of combinations rule of combinations is useful in the cases where x items or x outcomes are selected out of the total collection of n where the order is not important where the order is not important yes combinations now the similar type of third rule is permutations permutations what is the rule of permutations the rule of permutation says it is useful in case of selection of x items out of total collection of n items or outcomes but where the order is important order is important by the word order is important means if a b c is the collection of three outcomes a b and c a b c order okay a b c a comes b comes and c comes but in case of permutations a b c the order is important that means b a c is actually a different result similarly c b a is also different result any other combination is possible is it yes, yes. c a b 
Again, any other? Yes, C A. Yes, yes B C A. Yes, C B. Yes, A C B. All these are actually different compounds. In case of permutation. So in this type of cases, the rule of permutation is useful and in the case where order is not important, selection of A, B, C, that means A has been selected, B has been selected, C has been selected, order is not important, then rule of combination is useful. What is the formula for calculation of permutation? The sign is N, P, X or you can use sign R instead of X. If you are habituated to use R instead of X in your school days. What is the formula? Can anybody say? What is the formula to calculate permutation? There is a minor difference between the formula of combinations and permutation. It is N factorial divided by N minus R factorial. No additional R factorial in the universe. So, additional denominator is R factorial in multiplication. That means this gives less number of cases. In case of permutation, more number of cases are possible actually. These are fundamental rules. The first was for multi-step experiment, second is combination, third is permutations and the fourth one is actually Many times, actually it is rule of possible pairs and personally I tell it the rule of say n raised to k, sorry n into k or n into m, there are many signs to express this rule, yes. Let us take an example from our childhood. A little boy has six half pants and eight different types of t-shirts. How many different pairs can be made out of this collection of the half pants and t-shirts? He has six half pants and eight t-shirts. If matching combination is not actually important, then the boy has six half pants and eight different t-shirts that means he has 48 different pairs any of the eight t-shirts he can wear with the first half pant similarly any of the eight with the second and third fourth fifth and sixth that means only first half pant there are eight pairs Eight new pairs with the second half pen. Eight new pairs with the third. Eight plus eight plus eight plus eight six times. That is 48. So this rule is MN rule or NK rule, popularly known as MN rule. So these four rules are actually important to know before studying probability.